In this tutorial, we'll learn how to set up a 2D two fluid model simulation of a fluid bed. Create a new project from the blank template, providing a project name and select a location to save to. On the model setup pane, enter a description for the project and select a two fluid model. On the geometry pane, select two dimensional checkbox and then enter a value of 10 divided by 100 for the maximum x extent and a value of 30 divided by 100 for the maximum y extent. On the mesh pane, enter a value of 20 cells for the x direction and 60 cells for the y direction. On the region pane, we'll create a new region by pressing the plus button, change the name to bed, and change the color. Enter min in the from x field and max in the to x field. Enter min in the from y field and max divided by 2 in the to y field. And enter min in the from z field and max in the to z field. Next, we'll use a shortcut to add a region to the bottom and change the name to inlet. Next, we'll add another region to the top of the domain and change the name to outlet. On the solids pane, we'll create a new solid by pressing the plus button. Change the name to glass beads. Enter a diameter of 200 e to negative 6 meters and a density of 2,500 kilograms per meter cubed. On the initial condition pane with the default condition selected, enter a pressure of 101.325 pascals. Create another initial condition by pressing the plus sign and selecting the bed region. On the glass bead subpane, change the volume fraction to 0 0.4. On the boundary condition pane, we'll create a new boundary condition by pressing the plus sign. Select a boundary type of mass inflow and select the inlet region. And enter a gas inlet velocity of 0 0.25 meters per second. Next, create a new boundary condition. Select the boundary type to be pressure outflow and select the outlet region. Moving to the output pane, we'll select write VTK output files. On the VTK subpane, we'll create a new output region and select the background IC. Change the file name base to cells and the right interval to 0 0.1 seconds, and select the volume fraction, pressure, and velocity vector data to save to the files. On the run pane, change the initial time step to 1e to negative 3, and the maximum time step to 1e to negative 2. We can now run the simulation, save the project, and press the run button. Select the default solver and press run. The simulation is now running. We can see the output of the solver in the terminal window. We can now plot the time step versus the simulation time. The number of iterations per time step against the simulation time. And the elapsed time versus the simulation time. After some time has elapsed, we can visualize the results by creating a new VTK window and press play. We can press the stop button and then manually toggle through the different frames or manually enter a frame to go to. We can change the playback speed to play the frame slower. Or faster. We can change which variable is currently displayed. And change the color bar. Invert the color bar. We can also pause the running solver by pressing the pause button. 
Once the simulation is paused, selected values can be changed, such as the inlet boundary condition gas velocity. The simulation then can be resumed by pressing the run button. This will push the new values to the solver. After some time has elapsed, we can play the simulation results again and see that our changed gas velocity elutriates the solids out of the domain. Thanks for watching.